Okay guys, welcome. Here we have my tier 4 Clemson. And uh, I've got a match today from my first battle in it. And uh, I was quite excited <laughs> at the end of the match. But I'm um, just going to go over the ship real quick. It's a destroyer that gets hit, it dies. Artillery, destroyer, has what, 105, or 102 millimeter cannons. I love this feature though. Let's look at all the guns. And uh, torpedoes, the range is only 5 kilometers. Typical American torpedoes. And I was running at stock, so they only do 990 damage. I say only, but one spread will still take out a battleship at this tier. No anti air maneuverability. High. But uh, I ran this ship straight off the gate to get this match. And so let's get to the match. So, here we are on uh, New Dawn. It's an even tier match. So, top tier. Have a fairly typical start. I'm gonna head towards B. Because if the destroyer doesn't take that, then it gets blown up. Whatever tries to take it, if it's not a destroyer, generally gets blown up real quick. this right to be in the match it may take you a while to get where you want to go but at least the scenery was nice I love the way they did the sky and the water on this and uh, the Clemson like the wicks before it has uh, torpedo tubes on both sides they're not rotational so you fire them off one side of the ship and then you turn around and your other side's already loaded and they actually reload them really quick you'll see that in a minute but our first enemy is sighted he's far enough away I've no there's no chance that he sees me and uh, since I just changed my captain over he doesn't have the detected perk so I don't know when I am spotted but, uh, I know that I'm the only one in the cap circle because I'm actually capturing the zone. But I expected that not to last very long. And I definitely wasn't wrong. Should be seeing first opponent any second now. There's the smoke. He's pop smoke. And there he is. Pop smoke a bit early. And, uh, I just sent some his way, thinking maybe I'll hit him. He tries to back off. Americans, American destroyers are all about the guns for the most part. Very quick firing guns against other destroyers. They are extremely deadly. As you're seeing, just knocking stuff out left and right. There, he finally repaired his stuff. Torpedoes astern. And there's tor that's the other thing. Anytime you are anywhere near a destroyer, assume he's firing torpedoes at you. That's why I banked off and turned around. And they they go harmlessly past. So I fired some ahead and then I fired some behind. The widespread at that distance there. He made a mistake here. He should have gone towards the torpedoes. And maybe he could have uh, not had this happen to him. But that's first blood. And I was very proud I got out of there with minimal damage. And uh, I'll take that first blood. Gives a, When you get first blood, you get a signal flag that... Oh, I'm drawing a blank on what it does. But uh, it's actually really good. I think it increases credits per game of that game when you put it on. The signal flags are one use. Uh, you'll see I started headed south. I was planning on going after these guys, 
And I was like, you know what? Those, uh, those are cruisers. And uh, I've spotted a destroyer. And I launched these because that's literally the only place I could launch them at. And I know they're going to miss. So open up with my American guns. And uh, I am definitely not the best shot in this game. But I can hold my own for the most part. Fire those off and say, I'm getting out of here. There are three cruisers and two destroyers over here. Pop smoke and get out of here. I also activated my speed boost just to get on out and make sure I lay that. And now I've discovered a much tastier target. That is a battleship. And he is all by himself. Smoke's he has no support. Set. And he's got me and I believe there's another destroyer on my right. Reporting the target position. Coming in. And that's just not good news for any slow battleship to have two fast destroyers coming in straight at you. I'm, I'm well within detection range by this point, so I'm just firing. Narrow spread, fire him out, and immediately start cutting it into a turn. I take a hit, prepare my stuff. Assault, sir. Now I turned, and the torpedoes are once again ready. Since it's on the other side, other ones are half reloaded. But from here, I just sit back, and uh, we're gonna watch the fireworks. Cause he just kept going straight line, and there you go. I didn't even need my second spread. That's my second kill. And it's actually only the second kill of the match. Right now, I've got both the kills, even at this point. But the torpedoes on the right side are ready again. So I check, and if I was to fire them where I could hit him, it would actually go towards our cruiser. And so to avoid any kind of possible friendly damage, just using the guns. There are my masts. Goodbye, masts. And I see he's changed. So now, again, fire front and behind because he's a destroyer, so he's not going to be sitting there. But then I notice his engine stacks are actually down. So his engine er, his engine stacks are on fire, which means his engine is down and he is not moving. So that second spread where I fired, just lands. We've sunk an enemy destroyer. Do not get hit by torpedoes if you're a destroyer. And it will end you very quickly. At this tier, we only have like 1,500 health, or 15,000 health. And one torpedo will take out most of your health. And uh, again, um, I find an isolated enemy. This is a Phoenix class cruiser. And uh, I should have checked that here, but I didn't. I was like, I'm just going to come up and torpedo this cruiser. The thing is, this cruiser has torpedoes of its own. And at this range, it's extremely hard to miss. And I could have bit it very, very easily here. But uh, he just didn't know I was there, I wasn't paying attention, and he I thought he was going to get away for a minute, but he has run himself aground, and uh, it's, it's, there's no way to miss. There's just isn't any way to miss. And at this point I was like, oh, what if he has torpedoes? Please don't shoot torpedoes at me. So I turn out, and there's Enemy my next kill. Sunk. One torpedo was all I needed to end him. And now I'm faced with a conundrum. There are two battleships, a cruiser, and a destroyer left. So I think that's it. It's all about on the map. It's hard to see what it actually is. But, um, what's my screen speed? A lot of band I cam. I really need to upgrade, get something that can record for longer than 10 minutes. Remember, there's at least one cruiser and two battleships, and I can see another thing. It's just, but uh, instead of going directly in like our fellow destroyer is doing, I'm going to circle around behind them 
and hopefully they won't notice me pop up on the map because they're too focused on their sights. <coughs> Excuse me. And now that I'm fully behind them, I circle round. At this point, yeah, it's, it was. At this point, I'd had a great game, and our allies have taken out one of the other ships. So now there is just two battleships in the cruiser. I see him coming around, and he's engaged on our other destroyer who went straight in. So that allows me to go ahead and put some shots in. And I don't turn to present my guns till this point because he's come within torpedo range. And I fire my torpedoes, and then you'll see my little editing glitch. But um, I fire one at wide, one at short. He might continue on. <coughs> I see the signal for torpedoes on my screen, but I'm pretty sure those are friendly. But I turn away anyway. And, uh, as you can see there. You destroyed an enemy cruiser. Didn't kill. Yeah. I was like, I couldn't. I just couldn't believe I had gotten this many on my first match in the ship. And uh, I'm gonna chalk that up to I've been playing the Russians, and they only have a range of three at this tier, or at least the ones I've been playing. So having a five kilometer range on my torpedoes makes it so much easier. And uh, again, I know I'm I know I'm spotted, so I'm just opening up on him. But I'm presenting him with only my front, so if he does fire, he doesn't have as much trajectory. And there he shot me. Boost deactivated. Battleship accuracy right there. Closing in, waiting for the perfect shot. I do believe they've sunk our other destroyer Slope by now, but that was his spread of torpedoes coming in. And now, I'm gonna take it, because I don't want. His secondaries are gonna get on me by now, and uh, there we go. Knocked out with my guns. So I go ahead and take my shot. Not to hit the boundary, so I circle him around. And recently they changed it so that when you hit the boundary you lose your speed and that would kill me instantly. Because he would be able to get a good bearing on me. Fire my second spread. But uh, again, I don't need it. And I got my Confederate medal. So, here we are. Six kills. First blood. Devastating strike. Confederate. And I am... I was losing it at this point. I mean, I can't record my games live because I don't have the uh, recording software for it. But no, it was just crazy. I was, I was just done. Especially because this was my first match in it, and so it instantly made me fall in love with this. And uh, I just got a congratulation. And you'll see typing in caps because I'm a caps lock monster. I'm always hitting that thing when I'm moving around. But uh, you could just it, it was fine, and I went to go apologize for caps lock, but uh, it didn't really matter because of uh, the match ending. And here are my post battle results: 160,958 credits, 3,608 experience with the first one of the day bonus. Free experience is 600 81 and I've got first blood confederate and devastating strike medals I've got 34 gun hits 12 torpedo hits five incapacitations one fire nine floods caused by torpedoes not that they mattered because everyone died when as soon as my torpedoes hit them and I captured a base now the rest of my results I'm not gonna read off because Again, I just have Windows Movie Maker, and for whatever reason, it will not let me see my results. They're all blurry and bad quality, and it's frustrating because 
But my last video, I made a mistake reading them off because I couldn't see them. Fixed in annotations, but most people can't see it if they have them off, especially on your phones. But uh, I'll just let you read them off because there's. Uh, I'm just going to say I'm wrong again. But uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.